Hello, how you doing? Have you heard the term LLM distillation? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what is LLM distillation? LLM distillation refers to the process of transferring knowledge from a larger, often more complex model referred to as the teacher to a smaller, more efficient model referred to as the student. When we talk about larger and smaller models, how are we measuring this? Well, we are measuring model size in terms of parameters. The concept of knowledge distillation was first introduced by Jeffrey Hinton, Oriel Vinyals, and Jeff Dean in their paper titled Distilling the Knowledge in a Neural Network, presented in 2015. So what is the goal of distillation? Well, the goal is to maintain the smaller model's performance as close as possible to the teacher model, while significantly reducing the computational resources required for inference and deployment. So how does it work? Well, train a smaller student model using knowledge from a teacher model involves several key steps. First, the teacher model generates soft labels. Now, what are soft labels? Well, instead of just giving correct answers, the teacher model outputs the probability distributions over possible answers. For example, instead of just saying Apple blank, the teacher might say Apple iPhone with 90% probability, iPad with 5% probability, TV with 3% probability, or laptop with 2% probability. These soft labels help the student model understand confidence levels rather than just right and wrong answers. In addition to training with soft labels, the student model learns from the ground truth as well. Both of these help the student model capture the reasoning patterns of the teacher rather than just memorizing correct answers. Once the student model learns from the teacher model, it can be fine-tuned further on task-specific data sets. This helps ensure the student model performs well in real-world applications, even if it's much smaller than the teacher. So why use LLM distillation? Well, one big reason is efficiency. Smaller LLMs require less computational power, making them suitable for edge devices or low latency applications. And with better efficiency, you get cost savings. Reduced resource consumption leads to lower inference and operational costs. Additionally, with more efficiency, you can scale up to more user tasks with less need for massive infrastructure. So what are the challenges of LLM distillation? Well, the first is loss of information. A smaller model might not fully capture the nuances of the larger teacher model. The second is ensuring the distilled model generalizes well across diverse tasks or domains. So where would you use distilled models? Well, as I mentioned earlier, you can deploy distilled models on mobile devices or edge devices. Additionally, you can deploy distilled LLMs for tasks requiring low latency, such as real-time translation or summarization. So what are some examples of distilled models out in the real world? Well, the first is Distillbert, which was distilled from BERT developed by Google. Distillbert boasts being 40% smaller, 60% faster, and still retains 97% of BERT's performance. Another distilled model is Distilled GPT-2, which was distilled from GP2 developed by OpenAI. Distilled GPT-2 is between 35 and 40% smaller, 1.5x faster, and still retains between 95 to 97% of GP2's performance. So in summary, LLM distillation will be popular because it significantly reduces compute costs, speeds up inference, and enables real-time AI on mobile, edge, and cloud environments while retaining most of the accuracy of large models. As AI adoption scales, businesses and developers will prioritize efficient, affordable, and scalable models 
to power applications without the need for massive infrastructure. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about innovation with the cloud, machine learning, AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day, thanks.